appreciate that. Hey, Donna. Hey, Jack. Thank you. Yeah, dude. I appreciate it, y'all. Well, welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. <laughs> Got another good one today for you folks returning for their second day from Dallas, Texas. It's the champs. It's the Shepherd family. <laughs> and from Brentwood, California, it's the Cecil family. <laughs> Everybody's here trying to win themselves a lot of cash, and somebody might drive out of here in a brand new car. <laughs> well, let's go meet them, Mr. Champs. It's the Shepherd family. <laughs> hey, little Ashley. Hi. See, they moved you up to the captain spot. They did. You know why they do that? Why? Because they love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you've got star quality, little <laughs> Ashley. Well, I'm a YouTuber. It's like I make videos for like little children, so they're like skits about princesses and fairies and the Wicked Witch. <laughs> that's you? That, that's me. Well, I make like videos every week on YouTube, and uh, like our channel has over two million subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> two million. Two million. You should tune in every Monday on Seven Perfect Angels. <laughs> I have a lung disease called cystic fibrosis, too. You have a what? I have a lung disease called cystic fibrosis. So, yeah. You On top it? of all this. Well, can I tell you something, though? What? You're here. Yeah, I know. Come on, let's play. Let's win some money. Hey, give me Jenna. Give me Ashley. Top seven answers on the board, ladies. Here we go. Name a number that most men exaggerate. A hundred. A hundred. Their height. Their height. Brandy. Their age. Their age. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. Yeah. Jessica, name a number that most men exaggerate. I would have to say the the size of their. Yeah, well, Parts. it's easy to find out. <laughs> Part sizes. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, Dave, name a number that most men exaggerate. Their money. Hell yeah. 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 Their money. Right there, right there, right there. Hey, Shelly, give me a number that most men exaggerate. Maybe their shoe size? Yeah, I yeah. like that. Yeah. Shoe yeah. size. <laughs> Jenna, only one strike. Give me a number that most men exaggerate. I'm gonna have to say the number of cars they own. The number of cars <laughs> they own. Yeah. All right, gotta slow it down. We got two strikes, Joel. The Shepherd family can steal. Give me a number most men exaggerate. Uh, their sexual partners. Good oh, good their sexual partners. <laughs> Two, Jessica? That's me. <laughs> you better know it. We got uh, two strikes. We got to be careful now. Shepherd family can steal. Okay. Name a number that most men exaggerate. How about how many times they've been arrested or like in trouble? Good answer, yeah. Good answer. Jail time. <laughs> <laughs> Name a number that most men exaggerate. Their size of their clothes. <laughs> the size of the clothes. Number <laughs> 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 seven. Oh. 
six. I do. Let's go to question two. Give me Joel. Give me Brad. All right, guys, we got top seven answers on the board. Here we go. Name something a male stripper might wear on Super Bowl Sunday. G-string. G-string. Football helmet. Football helmet. <laughs> Jessica, name something a male stripper might wear on Super Bowl Sunday. Like a cup? On his part. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dave, some a male stripper might wear on Super Bowl Sunday. Cleats. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, Shelly, name some a male stripper might wear on Super Bowl Sunday. A jersey. A jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Jenna, name something a male stripper might wear on Super Bowl Sunday. What about the eye black, Steve? Yes. The eye black. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got two strikes now, Joel. We got to be careful. Listen to me, Shepherd family can steal. Name something a male stripper might wear on Super Bowl Sunday. We do uh, pads. Good pads. Yeah. Yeah. Jessica, two strikes. Got to be careful. Shepard family can steal. Give me something a male stripper might wear on Super Bowl Sunday. I would say some gloves. Good answer. Gloves. Yeah. Some gloves. Oh. Name something a male stripper might wear on Super Bowl Sunday. A mouthpiece, Steve. Yeah. A mouthpiece. Cecil family, 157. Shepherd family not on the board, but the goal is 300 points. Again, you got a long way to go. You know how this goes. You're playing well, folks. We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back to Family Feud. Cecil family, 157. <laughs> Shepherd family not on the board. Give me Jessica. Give me Bailey. Top uh, point values is double, ladies. Top five answers on the board. We asked 100 married women, tell me something your husband stopped doing so much of after you got married. Keeping up with his appearance. Keeping up with his appearance. Dates. Dates. <laughs> Amber. Chores around the house. Chores around the house. <laughs> Dave. Affection. Affection. Let's play. Let's play. play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. John. Talk to 100. Well, I'll shake your hand, man. Let's go. We ask 100 married women. Tell me something your husband stopped doing so much of after you got married. Working. Stop working. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> oh, all the women in here got quiet working. <laughs> he quit working. He quit working where? <laughs> he quit his job. <laughs> Ashlyn, talk to 100 married women. Tell me something your husband stopped doing so much of after you got married. Giving compliments. Giving compliments. <laughs> Brandy, tell me something your husband stopped doing so much of after you got married. Hanging out with his friends. Hanging out with his friends. <laughs> All right, we got two strikes now, Bailey. We got to slow it down. The Cecil family could steal. We talked to 100 married women. Tell me something your husband stopped doing so much of after you got married. Working out. 
working out. Amber, two strikes. See some family can steal. 100 married women. Tell me something your husband stopped doing so much of after you got married. Buying me stuff. Surprises. Surprises buying me stuff. John, one answer left. You can clear the board, but you got two strikes. See, some family can steal. 100 married women. Tell me something your husband stopped doing so much of after you got married. Doing the wild thing. Wow, thing. Doing the wild thing. <laughs> we ask a hundred married women, the tell me something down. your husband stopped doing so much of after you got married. Giving me massages, Steve. Massages! Yeah. Number five. Manners. Well, we got a game now, folks. Cecil family got 157. Shepard family got 118. We got a game now. Somebody's got to win it when we come back. Don't go away. We got a good one. Closed captioning is sponsored in part by... We got a good one. Cecil Family 157. Yeah. Shepherd Family 118. Give me Dave, give me Amber. <laughs> Point values are triple. <laughs> Top four answers on the board. We asked 100 women. Want to humble your man? Make him wear a Speedo when he goes where? With his friends. With his friends. <laughs> Party. Pool party. You want to play? You want to play? We're going to play, Steve. We're going to play. John, talk to 100 women. Want to humble your man, make him wear a Speedo when he goes where? Golfing. Get <laughs> 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 Oh, that's not good. Go. Go. Golfing. <laughs> Ashlyn, 100 women. Want to humble your man, make him wear a Speedo when he goes where? To the bar? To the yeah. bar! Uh, All right, we've got to slow this down, family. We've got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. But if it's not there, the Cecil family can steal and win the game. Brandy, 100 women. Want to humble your man? Make him wear a Speedo when he goes where? To work? To work! <laughs> Bailey, two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. But if it's not there, the other team can steal and win. To the gym. To the gym! <laughs> Folks, here's the deal. We got two answers left. If either answer's there. Your family steals, your family wins the game. But if it's not there, the Shepherd family wins the game. This is it. We asked 100 women, want to humble your man? Make him wear a Speedo when he goes where? Shopping. <laughs> I'm going to say shopping, Steve. Yeah, good answer. <laughs> this is for the win. Shopping! <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Family will give me $500 on the Green Dot Cash Back Visa debit card. Enjoy 5% cash back and no overdraft fees ever. Really nice. Really nice, fam. Great fam. Very good. Let's go. I got Joel. I got Joel and I got Jessica. 
We're gonna play Fast Money right after this. $20,000. Come on, let's go. Joe, Jessica's off stage. I'm gonna ask you five questions in 20 seconds. You can't think of something, you just say pass. You and Jessica together come up with 200 points. Look right there, tell them what you're gonna win. $20,000! You ready? Yes, sir. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Joe, let's go. Tell me a place kids hide when they play hide and seek in the house. Under the bed. How many loads of wash do you do each week? Three. Name something you drink the most of. Beer. Fill in the blank, blank detector. Pet detective. Name something it takes people years to save for. Uh, house. Yeah! 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 Way to go. Tell me a place kids hide when they play hide and seek in the house. You said? <laughs> Under the bed. A survey said? How many loads of wash do you do each week? You said three. Survey said. <laughs> Name something you drink the most of. You said beer. You have a problem. Survey said. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Blank detector. You said. Survey said. Name something it take people years to save for. You said a house. Survey said. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Jessica. All right. Joe did pretty good. Okay. He did better. He did more than half. He got you 107. Okay. You need 93. Okay. This is very doable. Okay. I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. I'm gonna say try again. You give me another answer. It's gonna be a little bit tougher this time, so I'm gonna give you 25 seconds. You ready? I think so. All right, let's remind everybody Joel's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. All right, here we go. Tell me a place kids hide when they play hide and seek in the house? Closet. How many loads of wash do you do each week? Five. Name something you drink the most of. Water. Fill in the blank, blank detector. Smoke. Name something it takes people years to save for. A house. Try again. Um, a yacht. A yacht. We need, we need 93 points. Come on, Jess. Sure hope we get it before we get to that last one. <laughs> Tell me a place kids hide when they play hide and seek in the house. You said? Closet. Survey said? Yeah! yeah! Closet was the number one answer. How many loads of wash do you do each week? You said? Five. Survey said? Okay. Three was the number one answer with 30 points away. Name something you drink the most of. You said water. Survey said. Water was the number one answer. Smoke and fire detector. Retirement. Retirement was the number one. That's $20,000, and they're coming right back on Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey, and we'll see you next time, folks. Your ass on YouTube. <laughs> Your whole damn family on YouTube. Your whole damn family gonna be on YouTube. This about to be on YouTube. I'm gonna end up oh on YouTube. Oh, my dear gracious. <laughs>